Hi Sagittarius, welcome, it's Meredith. I am here with a monthly message for July 2021. It's been about a year since I've done monthly messages, but I've had requests, so here we are. Um, <clears throat> do hit the like, share, subscribe here on the channel. It does help to circulate the videos so that other Sagittarians can see the message. Deeply appreciated, thank you so much. Uh, I decided, was guided, <laughs> to combine two of my favorite decks. I've got Sawyer's Path Tarot and I've got Bonefire Tarot on the table for you. Of course, we're going to do other Oracle cards too. So the point of doing it this way is that some cards come out in repetition. So we may see the same card more than once. And this gives us a great focal point for... What could really use our loving kindness, compassion, and healing? So let's see what the tarot cards have to say for you. And just so you know, <laughs> shuffling 156 cards gets interesting. And your shuffle uh, was definitely a bit on the wild side. They were going all over the floor. And yeah, I love that kind of shuffle, by the way. All right, let's get into the energy atmosphere of July for you, Sagittarius. Your first card is, oh, nice, claiming independence, <laughs> the nine of coins. This is, uh, this is a card along with the hermit that some people feel resistance to because its traditional message is going it alone uh, or just so independent that interdependent relationship can feel out of reach. So you've moved beyond a point of <clears throat> being involved in codependent relationships. So you're a self-made person and you are fully able and willing to do it on your own. You have more than enough to spare and share when you see the nine of coins. And these are all amazing qualities of the card, though sometimes there's a touch of fear that there's no room for anyone else in your kingdom, queendom. And that's not so. This card is about bounty and abundance and fulfillment. It is, you know, the Ten of Coins comes after it, which is generational uh, legacy type energy, which means sharing with plenty of people in your sphere of influence. And so you're moving into that kind of connection within self and you have it on offer to all of your other relationships. So let's see what else comes with it. <clears throat> oh, very nice. So the king of coins, nine of coins, king of coins. Excellent. So this king, he's one of my favorites because he's steady. He's reliable. He's consistent. He's generous and he celebrates the now while also investing in the oncoming. And that's what's happening here with your nine. You are creating the kind of foundation within your sphere of influence that supports just this kind of connection. So the nine of coins could be seen as the queen and the king. So there's divine masculine, divine feminine right there. First two cards out of the reading. And this is this is sharing, this is connecting. And the ace of coins to the power of nine, the ace of coins on the king's card. The ace is a card of great love. It's a doorway of opportunity to step through. And my feeling is Sagittarius, is that you've created this doorway portal and you're about to step through it. And now your next card is another king. It's the king of swords. So you're being exceptionally decisive. And I think Cancer had this in their reading, too. I think they had the King and the Queen of Swords. Uh, anyway, it feels like with the King the king of Swords is you're a no B, you've got a no BS attitude right now. You're not going to be negotiated with. You're done compromising. You're not accepting breadcrumbs, gaslighting, any of that stuff. Those days are over for you. And... It, you know, it's like you're making a declaration and now the universe is responding to that declaration. Let's see what comes next. <clears throat> Beautiful. 
Six of Wands, victory, success, homecoming to the self. That's the spirit of the Nine of Coins right there. And there's also balance in the Six of Wands. So with the King of Coins and the King of Swords, you've got stability, you've got everlasting strength, you've got brilliant clarity. Here you have victory and success at the heart really at the heart of what inspires your nine of coins. So you can bring your whole self to every connection you have. Now take this to relationship level, if you wish, or in your career, in relationship to self, it's all there for you. And this feels like, this feels like your new launch pad. And then, oh my goodness, look at this, another king. You have three kings in the first five cards. Amazing. So there's a healing of the heart that's taken place here with the King of Cups. And his energy is lit by this beautiful sun. So his intuition, his EQ, his emotional quotient is extremely high. He's holding up the Ace of Cups. The fish is out of the cup. So dreams are coming true. They are becoming real. And this is also heightened, empathic, and intuitive gifts. So you're being informed by your empathic gifts, your intuitive wisdom, and you're making choice, decision, king of swords on that intuition because you're really very well grounded on your own foundation at this time. I, I feel like all well, my guides are saying you're in command. You are at the helm. And then now we have, look at this, the queen of swords. Amazing. So, uh, yeah, I said this for someone else. I think it was in Cancer's reading. <clears throat> you know, she has a reputation for being cold, kind of bitter. And look at her, though. She's coming out of a red rose, out of the center of a rose. She's actually all heart. But she has the grit in the guts to make hard decisions. In Sagittarius, you've had to do that. But doing that has brought you into harmonious Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine here with the King and the Nine and also with the King and the Queen of Swords. That's gorgeous energy. <laughs> and then we have Judgment. Oh, you're in review. Coming along with the Page of Coins and the Nine of Swords. Oh, okay. All right, I'm so glad we've had these cards come out first because Judgment and the Nine of Swords feel a bit like a pebble in your shoe at this time. It's like reviewing past experience has the ability to emotionally kind of take you out. Uh, it, can, it can bring up things that you once worried about from prior experience and engage your ego in the present, which puts you in judgment review and kind of like a recycle on the page, like recycling past experience, re-engaging uh, prior concern or worry. It's keeping you awake at night. And yet you've got all of this amazing, stable, consistent, reliable energy on your foundation. So this feels a bit like a whisper. <laughs> it's a whisper. But to you, that whisper puts a cold tingle in your spine and, and perhaps gives you a new review of old fear. Let's see where that's going. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, into the Four of Coins now, which is, you know, this card's called the Miser. And this could be a stubborn refusal to move forward. Like, oh, I've just made this stable foundation. So keep in mind, this is a four. Fours are extremely stable in tarot. Uh, and now I'm not sure if I want to move forward because I'm still a little bit gripped by the Nine of Swords, Judgment, and the Page of Coins. Now, the Page of Coins is one of those, there's a season for all things. And, <clears throat> you know, interestingly enough, the artwork on the card from one deck to the next will show some sort of 
like rotation of energy. So I feel like you're, you're rotating. Yeah. You're rotating old experience through your thought process and it's now got you grounded and potentially even a little bit stuck here on the four. But look, here again comes judgment. So judgment's showing up twice in the reading. That's why we mix decks, right? So judgment is the, the point of focus for you, Sagittarius. And what's interesting here is while judgment may be inspiring a review as a result of where you find yourself on your foundation now, which is in really an exquisite placement, even from that that position, you're still experiencing some sort of revisitation of old business, we'll say. But then as we move forward and we, we hang up here on the four of coins, judgment revisits again and now invites the hanged man, which is let's pause in the action here for some enlightenment. So this is a good review for you because I feel like you're ready to just let go. And you have the strength, reliability, and consistency of self-relationship to support it. But the Nine of Swords has you trembling a bit. It's got your spine tingling a bit. And that's got you standing still with the Four. But here, again, judgment shows up with the Hanged Man and says, let's look at this from a new perspective. And what are we seeing in that new perspective? But the Three of Wands. Mm. See, this is a rebuild. This is a redo um, <clears throat> from prior experience. You know, this card, as I'm looking at it right now, feels like the results of taking down towers in your world. And as you've taken down towers, you've had to rebuild. And what you've accomplished is the Nine of Coins and this great inner harmony between Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. And so you have a new perspective. You have new, fresh enlightenment. And the Three of Wands is really about setting down roots, putting down roots in this new foundation. But simultaneously, some old stuff's coming up to just make itself known to you so that you can, the Fool, move forward in freedom and liberation. Traveling light, not taking the baggage with you any longer. This is just these three cards here, the Judgment, uh, Page of Coins, and Nine of Swords are really the baggage, old baggage. And pretty much you may have been feeling as though you were done with this. However, we've got four planets in retrograde right now. We've just come out of Mercury retrograde, had a full moon in Capricorn, super full moon. And then Neptune went retrograde, joining Pluto, Saturn, and Jupiter. Yeah. So no, no joke here for you that you've got judgment showing up twice and you're doing a hard review on some things and it's a bit of a spine tingler for you, but this is really where you're at. You're prospecting, you're moving off into a whole new world on this beautiful foundation. You're garnering your gains over here and you're looking at this. It may, it may cause some fear for you, but you're not actually afraid to look at it because as you do, it sort of vaporizes and moves off into e into the ether and you're just so happy and grateful for it. And then we have temperance. Gorgeous card. This is change. This is alchemy. Uh, it's divinely guided for you as well. We have this beautiful angelic energy. You've brought together energies that you didn't think were possible to bring together. That's the alchemy of it. And it's divinely guided. It's divinely ordered. And that's what's created all this goodness up here. Okay, next we have... <laughs> That's really sweet. We have the devil. I like that for you because I feel as though you have to dig into uh, the devil energy to eradicate the nine of swords and recognize the nine of swords as a self-sabotage card. So yeah, we could all dive deep into our fear and our worry and some anxiety and that's the temptation we could. But once we take a look at this devil, we're like, oh heck no, uh-uh. I've done this. I've walked this road too many times. So I'm going to bring this energy into fulfillment. I'm going to release it and let it go. Next card is the three of coins, which is masterful construction of your own foundation. You know, typically this card is, you see a master artisan carving 
you know, something beautiful into stonework. And you do need a master for that, not a novice. So this is you being the master, recognizing that you could allow this energy of judgment and the nine of swords and even the four of coins over here to take you out. But you're not you're not giving in to the temptation of self-sabotage of old tape loops and vulture thoughts. And then the high priestess. This is what you're turning to. You're pausing in the action on the hanged man to move into the energy of the high priestess. She's our divine inner oracle. As I said earlier, you're listening to your intuitive gifts. You're engaging your empathic energy and you're feeling your way through this. Beautiful work, Sagittarius. So keep doing that because this is your foundation up here with your nine, your king, king, victory, success, king, queen. And the king and queen of swords, I mean, really, they're holding the ace of swords, brilliant clarity, everlasting strength. You're running those swords through your own BS from the past over here on the nine. So as you, as you run your fingers through these old things that may have created obstacle for you previously, you're pausing in the action. You're taking stock of things and you're moving forward unencumbered like the fool, engaging the alchemy that the universe offers you to make real and lasting change. You're encountering your own tendency toward self-sabotage, but even that you're plowing your way through. That's beautiful. Let's take a look at your spirit animal for the month of July. You have Bobcat Spirit. <laughs> Life is a mystery. Yeah, it sure is. And you're embracing the mystery for what feels like the first time in some ways for some of you, because that nine of swords can be very compelling and we can stop right there. It is so compelling, but you know, there's more beyond it because you've overcome so much from prior experience, right? You're ready to embrace the mystery and march off into the mystery on the fool card here. Yeah, look at this. Then your Lenormand card is the coffin. That's like the death card. It's transformative. But it's also, in Lenormand, the core meaning of this card is a natural ending. And I feel that you are having a natural ending toward the Four of Coins and the Nine of Swords here. And judgment, showing up twice in the reading, is allowing you the opportunity to truly run your fingers through these old experiences and ask yourself, are these valid? Do they even have anything worthy of offering the moment except to show me perspective of how far I've come? And if that's the case, you know, travel lightly like the fool and keep going because look what you're creating for yourself and trust your intuition. All right, angel answers. This is your opportunity to ask a question if you have one. Get confirmation. Or just let the angels bring you a message. <laughs> I love that. No need to worry. Remain positive. There's something better. Emphatic yes. <laughs> Do you need a better summary than that? I don't think so, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for watching the video. It's a pleasure to have uh, done this reading for you. Uh, have a beautiful July. Do check out the daily messages here on the channel. Peace, love, joy, happiness. Namaste.